All right, today in the hive we are building our uh, Venus flytrap vivarium. Uh, uh, this is largely from recycled uh, material too. This uh, is a jug that had uh, like cheese balls in it, uh, but you know, they come with uh, pretzels or whatever in them. Uh, just a standard plastic jug there, I'm putting a layer of uh, pea gravel down as a drainage. Uh, all carnivorous plants uh, that uh, I am putting in here are uh, from marshy areas where there is a, a high water table and we're going to emulate that. Uh, I'm going to put a layer of screen down. This just helps keep the, the soil uh, from getting mixed in too much with the, with the drainage. I'm just uh, cutting uh, some standard plastic screen around the bottom there. Uh, I'm trimming it up here to, uh, to fit it in there. And, uh, I will put another layer of gravel on top of here just to make sure it's held down and it's good and, and firm in place. And then we start putting in some stones to uh, give some uh, some depth to it. And, uh, and we are going to pour in a little bit of the, uh, this is all nutrient poor soil. Uh, the moss uh, that I'm putting on here is a... Uh, I collected uh, just out in my backyard, just the kind of moss that grows in the shade. We're going to put a little bit in here. Now I get it all kind of set up in here and I dump the soil in, in, in on top of it and it covers a little too much so I end up pulling it back out. Add a little bit of soil there. I have some, uh, some old driftwood sticks and stuff that I'm... Uh, trying to sort out uh, if I'm going to be able to put them in there, how they'd fit. That one's way too big. But the smaller one, I was actually able to, uh, to break it up so that it would uh, fit in there as two pieces of uh, wood. Now we are going to be putting isopods and springtails and stuff in here. We're going to we're gonna give it a, uh, a some ecology. Now I, decided, I did decide to put Henry in here. That's the Venus flytrap. This lived upstairs. Uh, here I'm building this nice vivarium for these. Uh, might as well put this one in here too. You can kind of see how the moss is set up uh, in that pot. And we're going to do the same thing with this whole area here. The ones that came with the roots actually did have uh, some soil and stuff with them, some some moss. So we got that, and I went and got a brush to kind of clean it up. I do end up pulling the, the moss and, and sticks and stuff out of here and uh, kind of re, re sculpting it uh, or putting it back in here differently uh, because I'm going to plant those in here. Wasn't sure exactly how I wanted it to uh, to be set up, but uh, I am trying to keep the the moss uh, as much on the stones as possible uh, to help they it, it retain its. Uh, nutrients uh, from the soil that it was growing on because these uh these types of mosses they grow on just a nice thin little layer of soil so if i can put that keep that soil on the rocks it should uh help separate it uh and that's why i'm putting all the moss down in the front there too and the uh the carnivorous plants up on a little bit of a higher level because i the nutri i don't want the nutrients to uh work their way down onto the uh the fly traps so this is going to be the final uh, layout for the mosses. And this is just in my uh, in my dining room. That's what all the plants in the background. My big bushy fern. It usually spends most of the, the year outside, but uh, it's been inside. We had that cold snap, and uh, it doesn't like it when it gets much below 40. So uh, it's inside for about three or four months a year putting the sticks back in there actually had uh, some little hands to help me there uh, to straighten that out so that we could uh, there you go get the fly traps arranged just so and then move things around a little bit with the tweezers try not to uh, cause too much of a hassle and got grabbed the water can went and then got some uh, distilled water and uh, 
You can see my uh, polka dot begonia down there too, on the bottom left when I wasn't standing in the way. Maybe you can see it down there. We're putting just a, a copious amount of water in here. Uh, plants generally uh, prefer when you're uh, when you're transplanting anything from one pot to the other. You know you want to hit it with a, a heavy dose of uh, of water just to help acclimate the roots to the new environment and kind of. Uh, gets the soil uh, in around them. So there we have it, now I'll set up and, uh, and looking beautiful. Uh, let me bring it in, let me see if I can adjust that camera. All right, and thank you so much for joining me in the hive as we did this vivarium build. Please remember to be kind and take care. See you next time.